Now in Scott County, something new. Leaders there issued a curfew for minors and a ban on groups of 10 or more congregating. And today, officials launched a helpline for those unable to leave their houses. LEX 18's Lee Searcy has that story from Georgetown. These days, we all need a little fresh air. At the Scott County Park, kids played basketball and enjoyed the playground. Good, clean fun as long as there are no large groups. Today, Scott County leaders put a ban on 10 or more people gathering in public and issued a 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew for minors. It exempts teens accompanied by a parent or a legal guardian or those who work past the curfew. Judge Executive Joe Pat Covington says minors caught disobeying the curfew could be cited along with their parents. He hopes everyone follows the executive order for the sake of public health. You know, if we do what we need to do now to flatten the curve, that this experience hopefully will be a shorter uh, time length than, than if we don't. At the Emergency Management Center, volunteers answered calls for a new helpline set up to help those who need it most. We're trying to concentrate our efforts on the elderly and uh, people with immune suppression that physically cannot get out and uh, work, you know, help themselves. You can call these numbers Monday through Friday from 8 to 4 to set up a delivery. Deputies will pick up medications at local pharmacies and volunteers will get grocery items. People must pay with cash or check, and those who can't can contact the Amen House. Bottom line, if you need help, it's here. In Scott County, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.